we had some difficult weather over the last week or so with some high winds, and yesterday we had some delays due to lightning, but we are on track for this afternoon at 1700 to do the precision cutting. Of the personnel who we have sitting up top, I want to be clear that when we're seeing where they are right now, they are 180 feet in the air. The thing we know about this type of height and what you're seeing, what they're doing here, they're doing both cutting and also preparation for the removal of this truss that's sitting on top of the dolly. It's not what you envision in Hollywood, a big fireball. When we say precision cutting, it is exactly that. These are very small linear charges that are placed into cuts that were made, as the governor showed, and they are, it, it is going to allow for the pressure from those cuts to literally separate the metal and cut through the steel. It's going to be more like puffs of smoke that you might have seen with the Harry Nice Bridge. The state continues to make great progress along with the salvers to remove the remaining debris from the waterway. And as you can see visually and notice the difference over these last seven weeks, you can see that almost all the steel truss that was above the waterline across the entire bridge section has now been removed. And that's been great progress. And we are on track to fully reopen the deep draft channel to 50 feet and 700 feet wide by the end of the month. Safety is at the forefront of everything that we do. So the crew members themselves will be aft on the ship below decks. There's multiple containers and the decks between them and where the precision cutting will occur. We also have uh, some fire teams set up in case that there's it's not expected to have a fire, but we've got some fire teams set up in case there was some sort of fire that got started as a result of that. And we're going to have a water curtain uh, on the front of the vessel in between that and where the precision cuts are going to take place as well to prevent that. So questions on other Yeah, okay. sounds good. Go. I'll uh, I'll see you over okay, there. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much long. Like the truck definitely is new, but some of those mm -hmm. are also. Big American flag's been there. Mm -hmm. It has six or I'm doing B-roll. Are you doing B-roll? Yeah, B-I-N-O. Yeah, B-I-N-O. Yeah, B-I-N-O. Yeah, B-I-N-O. Yeah, B-I-N-O. Yeah, B-I-N-O. Okay. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 The photo that they didn't get at the memorial when they did the visual here is of this truck. So that's the...
We're in day 49, uh, just finishing up week seven in our response. And we are just one small part of a much larger effort with the U.S. Coast Guard, the U.S. Navy, some great industry partners, certainly the city of Maryland and the, uh, the city of, uh, of Baltimore. But today we achieved an important milestone. The, the, the objective for today was to separate what we call Section 4 of Span 18 from the vessel Dolly. You saw that uh, occur. And that allows us to take the important next step of moving the vessel Dolly over the next 48 hours and then going on to our next phase of work in restoring the full 700 foot wide by 50 foot deep federal navigation channel by the end of the month. We have all that we need to accomplish this mission. And span 4 weighs about 4,000 tons by our estimate and the, uh, the vessel actually had about 10,000 tons of ballast, water, pumped into the front of the vessel to hold it in place while we move that massive weight. So as they prepare to move the vessel dolly in the days ahead, they will take that water out of the front of the vessel and that would be one of the key tasks that they accomplish to eventually move the dolly to a safer part of the port. Well, I've learned that salvage operations is a lot like peeling back an onion. So that's the work you see occurring right now. The teams are already out assessing, uh, was there any movement to the debris on top of the vessel? Did the, uh, the members fall into the channel as we had planned? Of course, the answer is that yes, but they're doing the detailed work and already planning the next cuts and lifts of, that, uh, of those members.